Hey fellow RVers, we want to take you on a trip down memory lane to a lot of places that we've been during our 39 years of marriage. We started out with our little pop-up camper and that was very easy to tow behind our car. Uh, we traveled in it across the United States all the way from Alabama to, to California and back. Then we've had two travel trailers since then and now we've uh, bought a motor home and we've been traveling in it. Uh, we've also traveled by flying to Hawaii twice. We've taken a cruise in the Gulf of Mexico to Haiti, Grand Cayman, Jamaica and Cozumel. Uh, we really enjoyed that. It was a Paula Dean cruise so we got to see all the cooking shows and all too. So um, the cruises are wonderful because they provide you all your food and everything. We also did an inside passage tour of Alaska and we went to several different uh, places and got to stop and see we got to see whales and glaciers and uh, eagles and it was just a wonderful place. That's probably uh, the second favorite place that we've been to me. Uh, when our children were small we used to take them along with us. We uh, Wayne traveled all over the country with his job so we got to take the kids along and uh, we'd go to museums and fun places and he would have to go work so bless him. Uh, we've gone to lots of zoos and museums through the years. Our kids love these. Uh, we've been able to travel to all 50 of the states. Some we've got to explore more than others but uh, some just a few things but we've we love all of them for different reasons they all have beautiful things to see fun things to do and wonderful people to meet we've been to um, in the state of alabama where we live we like going to the rocket city or huntsville there's lots of things to do it's just about 30 minutes from where we live uh, birmingham is about an hour uh, we like to go to the Gulf Coast beaches, Gulf Shores, Panama City. Um, they're just, the beautiful white sand just can't be beat. Alabama also has lots of lakes, valleys, and mountains. And, of course, Auburn football. Uh, in Florida, we've gone um, to a lot of beaches there. Uh, there's beautiful beaches from Florida all the way up through Maine into the uh, up into Canada. We've got to look, go to lots of history museums. Um, we've been to Niagara Falls and we actually rode over into Canada and back then when the kids were little you didn't have to have passports to go over there like you do now. But that's a beautiful place to visit. Uh, the state that's north of us is Nashville. Um, there's Memphis. Tennessee and Nashville, Tennessee and Gatlinburg, lots of mountains and different things to see. Uh, we went to Washington, D.C. twice. Wayne had to work up there for two weeks, so we got to go and see all the museums, the zoo, the Capitol. Um, we traveled along on the little subway, Just got to see lots of wonderful things. Uh, we like to go to Gettysburg to see the museums and the battlefields and all that up there. And there's also a lot of Amish towns and villages, villages up there, wonderful places to eat. Uh, we like to go to Plymouth. That's where we did our whale watching tour the last time we were up there. And the guy that took us out on the boat knew just where to go find the whales because um, we got to see bunches of different ones. That was one of my favorite things too. Uh, Cape Cod, we drove out there and saw uh, the beautiful beaches and the lighthouses, lots of seafood. Uh, Bar Harbor, which we're going to get to go to this summer, uh, they are supposed to have lots of good seafood, beaches, and things to do up there. Um, 
we've been to Yellowstone, which is probably my number one place to go. Uh, we got to see all the geysers. Of course, Old Faithful put on a show for us. There's lots of beautiful lakes up there. And the bison are always out and about. You can see them everywhere in the road. Um, they call them bison jams. You can be traveling down the road and the traffic just comes to a complete stop. And it's either going to be bear or bison. People stopping to see those. Uh, we get, got to see black bears, brown bears, and actually uh, we got to see grizzlies. They were on the side of the road. It had babies. And, of course, the... Uh, park ranger shows up as soon as people start parking on the side of the road and I didn't get out of the car because the bear was really close to the side of the road so I looked at him through the window. Uh, we've been to the Grand Tetons. Jenny Lake is just beautiful. The kids were out playing and rafting in the lake and you could see the snow-capped mountains. That was wonderful. Uh, one of our other favorite states is South Dakota which I didn't really think would be my one of my favorites but they've got the badlands uh there's mount rushmore there that's wonderful to see custer state park is to me was kind of like a miniature yellowstone we got to see lots of wildlife there and it was really really pretty uh, we've seen the colorado mountains we came through there the end of july one year and people were fishing in the little river with coats on. You could see the snow top mountains. That was weird to see in July for us. We've been to the Grand Canyon, all the beautiful colors, the striped mountains and the river that runs through it. Uh, Monument Valley was another good place that we went to. We got to see, if you ever watch John Wayne movies, a lot of these, uh, this scenery was put into those movies which was fun to watch we drove up to mount st helen which was wonderful to see we were just glad it didn't decide to blow again while we were up there uh, yosemite was beautiful all the huge trees it made you feel really small to see the huge trees all of the pacific beaches we went to um, sunset beach in oregon that was beautiful we've also been to san francisco that was the trip when we went out on our, uh, Wayne had to work out there and we got to see Chinatown and ride the trolley and uh, eat lots of good food and had a good time out there. We walked part of the way across the Golden Gate Bridge, which was fun also. We've just been able to do a lot in our 39 year, years of marriage, a lot of fun stuff and uh, we really enjoy it and hope you get to get out on the road, travel, and enjoy some of the stuff that we did. It's fun to see on the internet and look at the pictures, but until you see it all, it just makes a totally different um, picture in your mind when you get to see the things for yourself.
One of my favorite parts about RVing as a lifestyle is uh, you're creating a, a lot of memories. That's kind of the uh, obvious note. But if you get tired of the beach for a while, you can go to the mountains. If you get tired of the mountains, you can go to the desert. If you get tired of the desert, you can go up into Indiana, Illinois, Ohio, uh, a lot of the farmland. It's amazing to me. Before we started traveling so much, my mental image of Illinois was Chicago. My mental image of the state of New York was New York City. Massachusetts was Boston. Those are not representative of the entire state by any means. All of those states have natural beauty, uh, beautiful farmlands, uh, well manicured crops. And uh, up in Wisconsin, there's a lot of dairy farms, as you would expect. Uh, I was able to go to a uh, Fish Creek camp in Wisconsin one time, and we had a fish boil. That community is pretty much based on people coming in to fish and spend the weekend or maybe spend a week there and the uh, bed and breakfast community will uh, have one location that supports the fish boil and from the south we have fish fries down here so the thought of boiling fish was not very appealing or appetizing to me but that was one of the most unique experiences I've ever had in my life as far as traveling goes. They use a cast iron pot and put a uh, nice white fish steak baskets and put them in the pot. They build a fire underneath the pot and let it cook for maybe 20 minutes. I don't remember exactly how long. Don't use that as a recipe. but. The, the final step is to uh, pour kerosene on the fire and that makes the water boil more aggressively and it boils out all the uh, slime or <clears throat> grease off the fish that uh, when, they, <clears throat> when they bring the basket full of fish out, it comes out of clean water so it doesn't pick up any of the residue that boiled off the fish. That was the best fish I believe I've ever eaten in my life. <clears throat> That's just one of the <clears throat> thousands of things that we've done that I wish we could portray through video. And unfortunately, as we've said in earlier videos, most of our memories over the years have been captured with photograph instead of video because who knew 10 or 20 or 30 years ago that uh, we were going to be putting all our memories on YouTube for our family and, and for our own uh, research and memory recall. Uh, we've had a uh, wonderful time traveling and all the different vehicles that we've had uh, from small trips and small campers with small children to very long trips with a very long RV to a Honda Civic and stay in for weeks and weeks at a time. Norma works at a school system, so when she's out during the summer, we travel. Um, I'm part-time, partially retired, so I'm able to work from the motor home. Uh, as long as I have internet access, I can continue to work. So we're looking forward this year to our next big adventure this summer. It's gonna be to leave Alabama uh, we've got a couple of overnight stays just to pull off the road and stay, sleep for a little while. So there's two of those before we get to Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. Then we're going to stay a, a week at Gettysburg. During that week, we're going to take a bus trip into Washington, D.C., which I've been several times before. Uh, Norma has been with me a couple of times. And we've got some friends that are going to be caravanning with us and they're going to follow us up and they've never been to Washington DC although he's retired military um, it's kind of strange that he's never seen Washington DC to me but anyway they'll be following us and then when we leave Gettysburg we go up to north of New York City a little town called Newburgh New York and there's a KOA there we're going to stay three days there for the purpose of taking a bus tour from New York KOA. It's called Newburgh KOA down into New York City. And we want to see all the famous tourist sites, the Statue of Liberty and 
Empire State Building, so on and so forth. And then we're leaving there, going to Plymouth, Massachusetts. Uh, we want to go for another uh, whale watch and eat some more of the best seafood that we've ever eaten in our life up in uh, Boston area. And Maine had some fantastic recipes, and the the uh, seafood was so fresh. Uh, my mouth's watering right now just talking about it. So we'll leave there and head to uh, Saco, Maine for just a short stay. And then from there, we're going to Bangor, Maine, and we'll set up base camp there for four days, I think. And then we're going to use the car to drive down to Bar Harbor and see Cadillac Mountain and Acadia National Forest. I've even had some of the people that have seen our uh, posts on Facebook and YouTube that have offered to uh, assist us with tour. One guy drives a bus, so he was going to drive the bus and answer questions for us. So that'll be great. And then when we leave there, we're going up into Canada for about a week. And then when we leave Canada, we don't know. From there, we're going to make plans to either come back through Niagara and back down through Ohio, Indiana, Kentucky, and then come back that way. Or we may just backtrack and follow the same route that we uh, took going up to Canada. Come back that way just because we know, we know what we know if we come back in the same direction that we go up there. So with all this and with the static images, hopefully the words, the labels and the titles that I put up there helps you see the places we've been. Hopefully it inspires you to go travel, go see some of these things. There's no way the pictures represent what, when you can see it and smell it and feel the breeze and hear the sounds of the animals and the birds chirping and all, all, the, all the sensory input from these things, pictures just can't do it any justice whatsoever so i'd love to hear your feedback in the comments below uh, where you've been what's your favorite place to see we have hopefully years left that we can travel and i'd love to see some of the places that you guys have all seen so if you haven't subscribed please subscribe to our video channel give us a thumbs up hit the notification bell all that helps us and uh, keeps us motivated to keep producing more videos. It does take a lot of time to put these things together and crop out and slice and dice and cut and paste, all that kind of stuff. So we enjoy doing it. I hope you enjoy watching it. Please subscribe, hit the notification bell, and please leave comments below so we can uh, see where you've been and see what you like to do and how you like to get there and how you travel. Maybe even leave us a comment as to what kind of motorhome or trailer or fifth wheel or pop-up or tent or minivan or uh, maybe you're just walking and hiking and got a tent in your backpack who knows so love talking to you thank you for uh, watching our video and we'll talk to you next time thanks a lot